Now then, we're back again with a quick video on the new clean air zones in 2022 and how to not get trapped by them. A clean air zone is a defined area where action is taken to improve air quality by charging us to use it, depending on our vehicle's emissions or whether we had beans for breakfast. Does this affect you? Depends on your vehicle's emissions, doesn't it? If your diesel vehicle was registered after September 2016, chances are that it has a Euro 6 engine, which means your emissions are under the acceptable limit. Therefore, no charges. But don't fret if your vehicle was registered before that date, as there is still a chance that its minimum emission standard is compliant with Euro 6 requirements. If you drive a petrol van, same story, but Euro 4. You can find your minimum emissions standard by checking your logbook or clicking on this link in the description. Each clean air zone is also assigned a class which dictates the type of vehicle to be rinsed for driving there. For example, in Portsmouth, the clean air zone is a class B, which will affect buses, coaches, taxis, private hire vehicles and heavy goods vehicles. In Bath, it's a class C, which adds vans and minibuses to that. In Birmingham, it's a class D, which also has cars and possibly motorcycles depending on what move doing that day. So for example, if you're driving a van that doesn't meet the emission standards and you drive through a clean air zone in Bath or Birmingham, then you'll be charged for using the zones. So we advise that if you're planning on visiting those areas, then do your homework beforehand to see how and when you'll need to pay. Exemptions. There are a number of them, both national and local. Nationally, your vehicle will be exempt if it's an ultra low emission vehicle, a disabled passenger tax class vehicle, a military vehicle, a historic vehicle, or a vehicle retrofitted with technology accredited by the Clean Vehicle Retrofit Accreditation Scheme, or if it's a select agricultural vehicle, which you'll have to check because it doesn't specify. The rest of the exemptions vary through each individual area, with some offering exemptions for business or for local residents with non-compliant vehicles, or in some areas motorhomes are exempt, which is cool. But as usual, check the link in the description for the full individual details in each case. That's Portsmouth, Bath and Birmingham, which are currently active. Bradford and Bristol will be active later this year also. And London is also active, but it has its own separate system because they all think they're better than everyone else down there, don't they? Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen and Dundee were introduced last week. But good news is Greater Manchester has been delayed. Newcastle has been delayed due to an ongoing legal case. And Sheffield is 404. So you can drive where you please there, within reason. You can't park that there, mate. Oh. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope we've saved you a pretty penny there. We are Van Life UK, a complete survivor's guide. Please hit subscribe if you liked what you just watched. Please tell us if you didn't.